This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. Straight up. Hi, I'm Nick Saletti here with your afternoon update from ABC 15 Arizona. Phoenix police are searching for a third suspect linked to a teen's murder. 17 year old Itzel Espinosa was shot and killed while inside a car in an alleyway near 35th Avenue and Southern. Police arresting 19 year old Jesus Padilla for facilitation of murder. A second suspect who's under 18 was booked into a detention center. Officers are still searching for Lindsay Aguilar, saying she was also involved. Itzel's father saying that he will never fully find peace, especially not knowing what happened. Like the whole justice process it will come eventually, you know, and they'll, they'll pay for it eventually. That's something we have to worry about later. At the beginning, I was just worried about like, she's, she's not here, you know, she's, she's gone. If you have any information on the third suspect, call Phoenix Police or Silent Witness at 480 Witness. Glenn sending us video from Deer Valley and an ADOT camera also capturing wet roads during this morning's commute. Uh, maybe you had a wet morning commute today, but check this out. After the rain comes the rainbows. Our crews capturing shots from downtown Phoenix and the I-17 at the Loop 303. Quick reminder, send your photos and videos to share at ABC15.com. Valley cities are among the highest percentage when it comes to pools. Our weather allows us to use them year round, right? But have you ever thought of using your back your backyard pool maybe as a side hustle? Here's ABC 15's Allison Rodriguez. During the pandemic, everyone looked at options to make money. The swimming pool is another side hustle that I wasn't really even thinking about. Some turning to a new app called Swimply. You can charge over $100 an hour for people to use your pool. As people learn about the fact that this website exists and it's possible to rent somebody's pool, um, people are interested. As the company's founder believes, people have come around to the idea of sharing their homes, cars, and even pools. We do owe a, a debt of gratitude toward to the broader sharing economy, right? Thank you very much, Airbnb and others like that who've made this type of thing somewhat normal. You're not going into someone's home. All right, you're going through a side entrance into a backyard. Lots of us have borrowed pools from friends or family before or neighbors. About 17% of Americans own a pool, hot tub or spa, and swimming is the fifth most popular activity in the U.S. If your insurance isn't covering you, I would be concerned. But the idea of renting your pool does not sit well with personal injury attorneys. To me, as someone in the in the, the business, it's terrifying to me. It's a... Uh, I, I see so much exposure and risk to the homeowner or the host. For those considering renting out their pools, check the home insurance policy. There may be a clause that prevents renting out your pool. Now we checked on the Simply app and there are hundreds of pools for rent across the valley. The world has changed a lot over the past year and naturally so did vocabulary. Dictionary.com just adding more than 300 new words and definitions to include new tech te terminology and slang. Uh, some of these are pandemic related like Zoom fatigue, PPE, social distancing and super spreader. But there's also some fun slang on there like oof, y'all, zaddy, yeet and snack. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. Another hot and humid day today. We'll reach a high of 105 again in Phoenix with temperatures in the 70s to 80s across most of northern Arizona, but expect temperatures to reach the 90s in spots like Sedona, Page, Kingman, and Winslow today, topping 110 at Lake Havasu. A chance for storms. We'll see a slight chance in the valley this morning, and then as we get into this afternoon and get some of that daytime heating, scattered storms will develop around the state today, and a few of those storms could move into the valley. There's a chance this afternoon and a chance this evening to a 20% chance for storms in the valley today. The biggest risk will be with these thunderstorms across the state will again be flooding or flash flooding and that threat for stronger winds too in the mix. Then as we head towards the end of the week, those storm chances and that potential for flooding goes up too. tomorrow. Those storm chances increase slightly, but check out Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We've got a 50% chance for storms and as those storm chances go up and we see more cloud cover, temperatures will fall into the 90s starting Friday. Another update tonight. Until then, get the latest news, weather, and traffic at abc15.com or just download our free ABC 15 mobile app. This ABC 15 flash briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. Straight up.